Right. Uh, I'm Viren again. Anyway, so uh, I thought I'd show off some of the different parts that I got before I prepared them, uh, just so you know those of you uh, that are going out and getting your own parts, uh, you know you'll have an idea of at least what I started with. I got these over at a, a thrift store. Yeah, cheap, easy price. Uh, you can tell they're little plastic beads. Uh, all of them are translucent. Light can pass through them. Plus, there's the little holes, so you know, of what doesn't illuminate, light will just simply pass through normally. Um, they're what you're supposed to do with these things, or at least what people I know do with them, is uh, they use uh, an iron on them to be able to flatten them out into like coasters or something. I thought I'd go ahead and do the same thing, but uh, instead of them standing straight up, you know, and then the uh, light can pass through the holes, I thought of laying them down. I just didn't do it yet. A cup. Cheap, crappy cup. But look at that red. Can light pass through it? Oh yeah, effortlessly. Really good color. Now this, I mean, you can already see through it right there, but I mean, this is a nice blue. Uh, you don't always need to start with junk. You can also start something like this. Yeah, it's pretty by itself but it's not chaotic enough for me um, so I thought I'd buy this and then hit it with a baseball bat or a sledgehammer or something um, and shatter it so I can use uh, you know smaller flat pieces of the uh, you know organized look uh, mixed in with the chaotic shapes I do another bottle-ish thing but this one you know is just a different color Okay, now this is the rare stuff. Black. However, you can see, you know, you can see through it. Black, but transparent. Well, translucent. Yeah. The only way that you're going to be able to find, you know, something of those two traits is usually, uh, you know, cheap sunglasses. But even that, I mean, it's like, what, two bucks for nowhere near this material y yeah this this is rare stuff blue but it has little glittery stuff that's I don't know whether it has an effect on the light or not who cares but might as well use it I wanted to find a good green luckily I found this all those flat or slightly angled surfaces I can totally use almost all of this is usable And all of this is usable. Marked down repeatedly. Where was the last price on it? Fifty cents for this? Yeah, I could do that. Just a cup, but you know. I mean, it's it's not light enough for you to be able to see through it, but light does illuminate it. And so, although the lantern won't shed light, those parts of it will light up. Uh, the same thing with this. The shape itself is very rare, um, but, you know, it's all usable material. Do I have anything else over there? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, wait, yes, I do. It's a plastic cup. Uh, let's see if I can. I'm working on a lantern, and the caulking didn't dry yet. Uh, it takes a few hours, just to be sure. Let's see, yeah, there's this, and it's a bright colored, uh, really clear plastic that will definitely shed light when there's light behind it. This just illuminates, although it's still functional, and you know, it, like I said, it illuminates. It won't shed light though, but it's you know two different yellows. Good enough for me. So yeah, those are just, you know, a few different uh, material ideas. I'll go smash them with a hammer and cut them up with the snoopers later.